Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a little bit of a different kind of video. One of my friends sent me a photo, it was like a screenshot, and you guys know how on Facebook they have those sites that kind of recommend you to like buy things, but half the time you kind of heard horror stories about people getting the clothes. It literally looks nothing like what the person ordered. Anyways, a friend sent me a photo, thought this outfit was like really cute and said like kind of what do you think of that site. Today we're going to open a package and we're going to see what I think of the site. Now the site is called Zaffle. I'm sure you guys have seen it like all over Facebook, probably like all over the internet in general. We're going to open this box. It's a big box. And I don't know, we're going to see what it's all about. Could be good, could be bad, but let's just dive right into this haul, shall we? Is is it a scam? Is it not a scam? I don't know. Let's do this. So I'm going to start off with the shirt that I'm wearing. This is actually a two-piece set. I'm obviously wearing the top right now and it comes with a skirt in the exact same pattern and it's this wraparound skirt. So it has two ties on it. Now the number one thing I think about this site is it kind of runs a little bit small. So I feel like typically you really have to size up, especially like depending on the material. Some materials like this I find because they have no stretch to them. I tend to want in a larger size anyways. But I have another story about this set. Okay, so I'm going to Insert a photo here. I saw this on Instagram. It was posted by Princess Polly, which is like a boutique site. I can't, I don't know where they're based out of. I think it's overseas. I have been following them in, on Instagram for a while and I've like seen all these pieces and I'm like, oh my god, I love this, I love this, I love this. So I kind of built up like a screenshot folder in my phone and I was like, okay, I'm gonna order all this when I find like enough stuff just so that shipping's not terrible. That kind of was in the back of my head as I was like looking at the Zaffle site and so I saw this two piece and I said, huh. That looks like the two piece from Princess Polly. And yeah, sure enough, so this is on the Princess Polly site and it is $80 on Princess Polly and on Zaffle it's $22. I don't know, like I thought it was just maybe like a one-off sort of thing, but there's actually a couple pieces in this haul that I had in my list from Princess Polly to get. I just want to like put that out there, make you guys aware of that. I don't know exactly what that means, but it's a thing. One for Zaffle. So the next thing I got is this dress. It's this red floral pattern. I like the whole like bardo top. Bardo is like where it's like straight across, but I hate when the sleeves are kind of separate. So what I mean by that is they're just like held on by like a little piece of fabric here. I like when they're attached like this because then it's easier to keep that line straight. I have a bunch of tops from Misguided where they're kind of like wonky and I'm always pulling up the one sleeve. This is like a floor length. It's a maxi dress. It's really comfortable. It's not the most amazing material, but like I just feel like for the price that you're getting this stuff for, it's, it's a good deal. And next up we have this. I was on a shoot a couple weeks ago and a girl was wearing something like this and I said, oh my god, where is that from? I absolutely love that. And she said it was from Pe Free People. So it's like a skirt with suspenders. It kind of looks like a jumpsuit and it's a floor length skirt. So I saw this on Zaffle and I was like, I have to get that because it looks it's very similar. The tag on this says free people. You guys can probably just get what I'm getting at. This is my favorite piece from this haul. I just love the way that this looks with a simple white t-shirt under it. Now you guys might be thinking this is deja vu, but it's not. I got this dress and it's in the exact same pattern as the skirt and the, this top, obviously you can tell. I just thought that if the two piece, like the skirt was too short, then at least I'd have this in a dress version. Yeah, you can tell that I'm like really into my floral patterns and stuff like that. The next thing that I got, another questionable thing. I love this, first of all. I think it is so nice. It's just like um, a jean top. Now to put it in perspective for you, I had to get this in a large and I have no boobs. So that kind of tells you how the sizing works. I just want to draw your attention to the back of this. The label looks exactly like the Zara label, except it doesn't say Zara, just saying. This is really nice quality, by the way, I just want to throw that out there. My second favorite thing that I got from Zoffel. All of this stuff will be linked in the down bar if you guys are interested in getting any of it. It's a really cute little set, ties up with two strings at the front, and it comes with a matching red skirt. I'm excited to wear this, I don't know where I'm going to wear it. Everything comes like nicely package like everything is in its own little like envelope and it has this little ziploc thing let's jump to some accessories for a hot minute i have one of these belts already however it's way too big i got it from asos and it's just too big and now this one is too small 
Like in order to wear it on my waist, I have to wear it on these two, and I kind of want to have a belt that's like closer in like that. I have these sunglasses. Now you can't really tell here, but they are like a pastel pink reflection. I'll try to get it in the next shot. The worst thing about them is that at the ends here, they don't really feel amazing when they're like at the back of your head, but that's the only downfall. And again, like I said, going back to the price point thing, like for that price, pretty good deal. I also got those in black as well. I got these ones too, same thing with the metal edges. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of these, I wish that they were more gold frame around them like a thicker so I'm still kind of on my hunt for those sunglasses the sunglasses aren't like the most amazing quality like these ones are a lot better than these ones so I'm pretty sure it's a little bit hit and miss next up I got another matching set so these are the pants now they're pants but they have a slit in them right here so this is the leg the top for this little set is a tube top this material is meh. It's a little less nicely made than the other two articles, but honestly, I love this. And even this, just wearing this with like high waisted pants, I think would be the cutest little outfit. Again, I'm gonna stop saying this <laughs> because I've said it a hundred times, but for price points, can't really go wrong. The next thing I got is very confusing because to me, I'm like, oh, you ordered that, Tasha? It's just this scoop neck, and I think I thought that it was long sleeve and I think I thought that it was a tie up shirt because I wouldn't have really ordered this for myself like a shirt like with this scalloped neck. I think I'm going to DIY it and make it into a tie up a shirt. Here it also comes with this like matching neck tie thing. I got this dress as well. Not entirely sure how I feel about this dress but that's just a me thing. I mean it's fine. It's fine. It's still nice. Okay, another little little weird thing. So this came in this bag. Now, this is the American Apparel bag, is it not? Possibly they just bought out all the stuff that American Apparel had. This one I'll like a lot more than the one I got from Misguided because the one from Misguided has like this much fabric attaching, like tiny, tiny, and they just slide around and it never stays up straight, but this one seems like it'll actually stay. Oh my god. There's a tag on it. It says Made in downtown LA, Amazoo Apparel. <laughs> I got two more things. This one, why am I even trying to show you this? I'll show you it on. It has the tie up at the front and then the sleeves are like this. This is another thing that I saw on Princess Polly, so I mean, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. And then the last thing I got is a swimsuit. A swimsuit. I wanted something that had side boob. Side boob is good boob. I wanted a one piece that was black. It sits really, really high. All right, you guys, that is everything that I got from Zaffel. <laughs> Overall, I have a very good feeling about Zaffel. I mean, I'm sure that some of the stuff is a little bit questionable, but for the most part, everything that I got seems to be really great. And like I said, going back to the whole price point thing, I don't think that Zaffel is a scam. However, I, I, I say that with a grain of salt. I just know that some people have gotten things that really don't look as they should. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there are any other sites like this that you'd like me to try out for you to see how they are, please Please let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!